Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to do an unwrapping of the 4K Steelbook set for the Halloween Trilogy, so stick around. So I received my order for the Halloween Trilogy. Um, this is the UK release with um, the Ultimate Steelbook Collection. It has Halloween, Halloween Kills, and Halloween Ends in it. Here's the spine. And here's the back with everything included. If you like to check up on it, you can go ahead and pause and do so. I'm going to go ahead and remove these from the packaging and we can take a closer look at each of these still books. Okay, now that I've got the card off of it, here's the front of it again. It is a glossy case with some great looking images on it. Here's the back, another great looking image. And then we have the top. And then nothing really special at the bottom. So this does have the nice cushion insert to where each of these should slide in and out without any issues, without any problems with it causing any damage. Okay, first up we have Halloween. This is the 2018 version, of course. It is a matte finish on all three of these still books. There's no embossing or debossing on any of the still books. And here's the back. Open it up. We have our front and back together. These still book releases only come with a 4K disc. There is no Blu-ray disc included, but I, get, I did get the art cards that were included in the UK packaging. So there will be art cards for each one, which I'll show at the end. But here's the disc card. And the inside artwork. So I really do like this artwork on this edition. Okay, next up we have Halloween Kills with this nice looking image. And here's the back. Open it up. We have our front and back together. I do like the images on this one. Again, we have the art cards included and just the one disc with this disc art. And we do have some inside artwork. So, famous scene there at the end of the movie. So overall, really nice looking still book. And then the last one, of course, is Halloween Ends with this artwork. And here's the back. Michael down in the sewers. Open it up. The front and back together. Nice looking artwork. Our cards are included with this edition also, and our one disc. And our inside artwork. So really nice edition. So for the art cards that are included, it does come in this resealable packaging, which I like. That way you can kind of keep it inside the steelbook case without damaging any of the art cards. I'm not a big fan of art cards in general. Um, so I'm not really sure. I think I bought this packaging because I wanted to make sure I got a good one and I wasn't really sure, but we'll talk about that in a little while. So here are the art cards for this edition. We have this artwork here that was featured on our um, US still book. And there's the back. I like those images. And then we have this image here in the back. And then we have this image here, which is the still book art. And then the back of the still book. So really nice. Okay, now we have the Halloween Kills art cards. We have this image here, which was also featured on the US still book available with the back. And we have another image here from another still book release with the back. And then, of course, we have the, this still book's art, artwork on this card with the back. So really nice. Okay, we have our final set of art cards for Halloween Ends. We have this artwork here, which was featured on a still book in the back. 
And then this art card here, which was another steelbook release in the back. And then finally we have this steelbook release art with the back. So that's a pretty good idea to feature the art cards with all the steelbook artwork. I think, you know, with all the artwork that was done for these releases, um, if you didn't get the steelbook, then these art cards might be really nice to have in your collection. So I'm really happy to have this one in the collection. Um, like I said, I ordered this um, to receive in case the other ones. Okay, so this is the deal. Um, a lot of times Best Buy will cancel my orders um, just on the spur of the moment. And I was always worried that I wouldn't get my Best Buy order. So I went ahead and paid more for the UK version. Now the only thing about the, key, the UK version that's different, which is probably a downside, is the fact that it was about $110 shipped. So it's very pricey. And the fact that it only comes with a 4K disc, the UK um, only comes with a 4K disc, the US Best Buy release comes with 4K, Blu-ray, and a digital code. Plus, the U.S. release is also a lot cheaper. Um, I believe it's in the right at the $80 range. So you do pay more for the U.K. release. But at least there's peace of mind knowing that I actually got a good one and that it wasn't damaged. So that being said, I did receive this um, U.K. release yesterday. And of course, today I received my Best Buy edition. So the Best Buy edition, like I said, comes with 4K, Blu-ray, and a digital code. So the code could be sold, but from what I understand, this will not come with any art cards. But I'm not a big fan of the art cards anyways. So if you're able to get the US release, that would be the ideal way to go. Um, if not, you know, any kind of way of having this in the collection is always nice, because I am a completist. I do like having all of the still books in the collection that I can have. But anyway, that's my two cents on the different versions. But I'm very happy to have this in the collection. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this particular steelbook release and my unwrapping of it. And also let me know which of the Halloween reboot films is your favorite. Um, for me, I would say Halloween 2018 was my favorite. Um, Halloween Kills was a little bit aggravating and Halloween Ends was a little bit disappointing. But overall, I'm glad that we were able to have all three of those films together. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.